Hey friends, my name is Lauren and I am one of the newest designer advocates on the team at Figma. I am here with a couple tips today that are new to me that I've learned from my fellow DAs that I wanted to share with y'all. First one is with prototyping. So I am often prototyping and switching back and forth between the design view and the prototype view to make sure everything's working. I learned this week that there is a shortcut for that. So if you click on where your prototype is, click on the frame, command option return, that'll open the prototype right up. Next one is a mystery solved for me. So whenever I'm making triangles, I usually go up to the polygon tool right here, click on this and create my triangle. And you see it's got that space here. I'll change this color so we can see it a little better. And this, especially when I'm doing anything with auto layout with the triangle, it kind of makes it funky. So I've wondered why it has that space and how do I get rid of it? And those are two things that I've learned this week. So why it has that space is actually because this is not a triangle tool it's a polygon tool this border around here it's leaving space for once you get up to say eight and these points need to go all the way to the edge it's leaving that space for those extra points that makes sense in a lot of situations in other situations like when you're trying to auto layout it might screw you up a bit so the way to get rid of that and make a border just right to the edges of the triangle is simply convert it to outlines or flatten so to convert it to outlines command shift o then you got your perfect little triangle. And to flatten, Command E. Awesome. And the third one is I learned that you can do even more things within Figma without plugins than I had realized. So I'm used to using plugins to grab similar layers, but you can actually do that right in Figma. See, I've got a bunch of text here, some black, some blue, other colors. I can select this text right here, Command Slash. That's one of my favorite shortcuts to just pull up this search menu right here. And you can search Select All. And it gives you so many options. So maybe we want to select all with the same fill. Now that's going to grab all the black ones. Fourth tip is just a life tip. Always keep learning. I came into Figma thinking I knew so many things and I've already learned so much from my fellow designer advocates this week. If you're on a small team, big team, always share the tips that you know because the chances are there's somebody out there who doesn't know that tip, even if it might seem really obvious to you. Figma is such a magical tool with so many things to learn. Chances are you can always teach somebody something. Bye, friends. See you later.